Well, a Merry Christmas season to you all. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Bayou Gold Guy. I am Bayou Gold Guy, and on this edition of Christmas Gold Gifts, or AKA Gifts I Wish Someone Would Give Me for Christmas, <laughs> we have a, a bit of a novelty pay dirt that we've gotten in. It seems to be a very popular one off of a very popular television show. And uh, we've uh, seen a couple of them done here recently, and we're gonna follow up with this one and see if we can get that 100% ROI that's promised in one in five bags. So, uh, before we turn to the new gold epicenter of South Louisiana, I'll give you a check on the continuing theme of my old <laughs> um, um, concert t-shirts. As you can see, this is the Iron Maiden. Goes back to 1982 when they were touring and, and, and the Scorpions opened for them. The first time I'd ever seen or heard of the Scorpions and they blew the blew the show away and became one of my favorite bands, far more so than Iron Maiden. But um, there you have it. That's uh, This is one of my oldest and most worn, as you can tell, worn out shirts. I don't wear this one very much anymore at all. But for this, uh, for this uh, occasion, we broke it out. So now let us turn to the festive gold epicenter of South Louisiana, this table, and see what we had in the tree. And there it is, the Emily Rydell Bering Sea Gold Pay Dirt Box. So let's sit set up and see what we got. Well, it turns out I ordered this order, I got this order out on the 1st of December. I, it arrived in the mail on the 6th. So less than a week, a very quick, uh, very quick delivery on it. And this is the box that it is shipped in. It comes in with the label on it, just like this. Uh, if you just saw John R. Prospecting did his two videos. He'd gotten two bags in. We'd, we'd talked about him getting this stuff. He actually was considering getting five five of these to see if he could get 100% out of 100% ROI out of one out of five. And uh, But for $150 shipping included on this, that would add up to quite a bit of money to test a theory on, uh, see if it was going to actually meet the uh, um, percentages. And since we don't know how many bags they've made up and uh, there's no way to tell, there's, you know, one in five is kind of a, you know, just a promotional thing. So, but what's odd is he ordered two of them, two orders together and did not get them in a box. They came in a bag instead of their, you know, kind of iconic, that's what they're known for getting this stuff in is sending it in their in their box so but uh yeah like i said 150 dollars postage included on this so we take off nine dollars for postage because i do not count postage in my roi and that gives us a 141 dollar cost for the material on this to get the 100 percent roi on that which we don't know if they mean including the shipping or just the gold value but you're going to need to get about two and a half grams of gold out of this so let's open it up and see what it looks like so this comes it uh it has of course the uh, certificate of authenticity that uh shows that it is from uh you know the uh the show it comes with the, the the bill uh the bill in it and they they throw in they always throw in this sticker and in this order, the promotion was um, you get a free additional four dollar one of their four dollar vinyl stickers of either the one of the the the, the ship the Aroka Aroka whatever they pronounce it or um, gold is where you find it with the girl on the stream panning. I got they did not send me that they left that out of the uh, they left that out of the order. So uh, but they do throw in the little little glass vial and then our pay dirt comes in wrapped in the of course the uh, bubble wrap to protect it in the mylar black mylar bag heat sealed heat sealed and zip locked so that is our that is our material 
So I'm going to send him a, a, a email and tell him they didn't send me the sticker and see if we can get that in. I really, I mean, it was, uh, you just kind of had to pick one. So I, I got the one, like I said, the one with the gold is where you find it. And, uh, thanks. Uh, it's, uh, they, they missed out on that somehow. So at any rate, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what it looks like here. Sealed up pretty good. Well, it doesn't seem to, we didn't seem to break the, there's a ziplock on it here. I'm not sure why that's not opening up. Did they heat seal the zip too? There we go. Just had to use a little, little force on it there. So there we see uh, material. Doesn't really have any smell to it. Check it out in the pan. Okay, obviously it's very fine material. And uh, looks like we are, they did not put in anything uh, too large there's a few little little pieces like that it looks like so let's check for the magnetics all right all right well as you can see we really have no magnetics to speak of in it, so that shouldn't be an issue. Even the black stuff that came up there is not, like I said, very, very little bit. So, all right, that's not a part. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and just check it out and see, since we do have a few little pieces in there, what, what it looks like as far as bigger stuff and there we have it right there as you can see not not too much to it looks like we've got some little pieces of gold showing up in there though so we're seeing some flakes right there first thing so that's always nice but it looks like we're going to have a lot of a lot of fine gold in this but yeah that's our one of our one of our little pieces to to pick up and look at right there and smooth and kind of not not too flat it's got a little bit of a little bit of thickness to it so that's neat another little piece right there a little chunker there that's a that's a very chunky little piece so cool well that'll be fun to to pan out first thing get that out of the way and it looks like we've got before i shook it there's a few little uh little flakes of gold showing up there too so Let's uh, set up our water and get rolling on this. All right, we got our water set. We have our Jack Dry added. To keep our small gold from floating away. So let's get out these pieces we know are in here first thing. And uh, get these get these done. Let's see, we got some. A couple of bigger pieces of rock in there. We can just pick those out. When I finished off the last video, I would had intended of do intended to do a, a smaller, lower price bag following the the last uh, Miners Depot bag. But after uh, this had come in, and uh, since John did both of his two bags in a two-parter, I thought it might be good to go ahead and do a, a third bag since it is off on this this. Uh, this was their November promotion, was the one in five bags is 100% ROI. So, um, uh, I thought, well, let's go ahead and see if one in, if, if one in three gets us there. So, uh, let's see that moved out very easily. And we have our, we have our gold exposed, a few little pieces there. If you saw, like I said, if you haven't seen it yet, go over to John R. Prospecting's channel and check out his uh, 
his videos on these. Uh, a lot of a lot of fine gold in that. So these may be our these are our biggest biggest pieces of the of the bag here. So we are done with that quick and easy now let's see what we got in here with this stuff so like I said this came within a week so if you've got someone that you know that is a fan of the show or uh, enjoys uh, actually Emily Rydell has a bunch of YouTube shorter videos showing uh, kind of behind the scenes of the the show and her life up in Alaska and the the, uh, like I said, the kind of behind the scenes of what they do. Um, then you can uh, order this and get it in plenty of time before Christmas. If you, if you act, if you act now, act now and get your order in. But uh, we can already see some gold popping up there on the, well, damn it. I'm glad I looked down. I have more trouble with this damn keeping zoomed out when I zoom in. Uh, we had some gold showing up there in the corner of the pan already. definitely some very fine fine I guess this would be the the bottom of the bottom of the uh, bearing straight uh, <laughs> um, sand you know bottom ocean bottom that they dredge this stuff up from so it is a, a, a bit of a different looking pay dirt than I've seen before as far as this dark black uh, sandy stuff like this not to be loaded with uh, magnetite or we'll see if there's hematite in it or not when we get down to the bottom how much of that is in here but um, like I said it seems to be a pretty popular pay dirt I know it's a popular viewing pay dirt that uh, uh, John has gotten a bunch of views on his uh, Actually, I think it's his most viewed video off this, uh, off his first bag he did of this stuff. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see if that translates into my channel. <laughs> I'm interested to see that. Besides, uh, like I said, showing, uh, showing a little something different here for, uh, your, your Christmas choice. But there's, there's that little peak flaunt showing back up there again. Uh, the first time I saw this done was on, uh, uh, Dylan on uh, Miller Prospecting, and uh, he was doing the, uh, I think that was, uh, she had done up 200 bags, and one of them was the, the one ounce or the half ounce or something like that to be found, but uh, it came, then it came with a, a magnifying glass and uh, um, something else, there were a couple of little knickknacks in there that, uh, he uh, on his uh, on his review of it said that it was really you know it was kind of cheesy and not really anything that added much to the pay dirt. That it would be better. He'd be happier with a little more gold and a little less promotional or uh, you know trinket stuff. And uh, apparently she she uh, heard him and uh, took it to heart because uh, she kicked it back to where it was just the stickers and the, the little glass vial. And uh, did away with the magnifying glass, which is like kind of a, a kid's plastic plastic toy kind of thing more than anything else. So, but I thought it was kind of neat that she, uh, that you know, she was receptive to his uh, advice, and and he was right. I mean, uh, most of us would say, yeah, that's, you know, that that really didn't add anything to the to the experience. So we'll uh, we do not have that in this batch. And hopefully we will, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we get a hundred percent though. So, uh, I'm really, I'm not a, I don't watch the show. I, I like I said, I've seen her YouTube's shorts, but, um, I really don't, I haven't watched any of the gold shows since gold rush. And I used to watch that back a few years ago. I haven't watched it since then. After a while, it was kind of, it was getting a bit redundant. So, um. You know, I just kind of lost interest, and and I, I I cut cable ten years ago. So I, if I want to watch it, it's not you know a lot of times people watch stuff when it just comes up on your 
on your viewing, on your channel, on your, on your, you know, on your screen when you're flipping through. So if I want to watch something, I pretty much have to, you know, search it and call it up on my all around high seas channel that I get everything that I will pretty much watch on every TV show that's ever been made, every movie that's out there, everything. So, and I just haven't, haven't done that. So, uh, but like I said, I have seen her, uh, you know, her YouTubes and she seems to be a pretty personable person. Uh, you know, nice, a nice looking chick. <laughs> She's that's not, 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 not hard to look at for sure. So that's that kind of, when you see her on that kind of, encourages you to click on and see what what she's talking about so uh you know hey it's uh it is what it is but uh you know it's all the i i talked to creed about it before um, on gold rush he was saying how you know it's 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 tv you know it's nothing it's not much not much of it's based in reality of what you what you go through and uh you know the real life of doing that stuff so you kind of take that as all of it you know uh, you know, the reality TV is very little reality, <laughs> but, um, you know, but the, the, her, her gold was some pretty gold that it, I've seen, I've seen recovered. So, you know, that makes it valid for, uh, a pay dirt vendor to, uh, check out their, check out their stuff. So like I said, it flows out pretty easily. It doesn't look like we have much, even much hematite in there at all. So let's, but we are getting a nice, nice showing of gold from that first pan. But, uh, from that, on that first video he did of this stuff that John did, it looked like we, we were thinking, it looked like he might, might be getting that, uh, hundred percent because it looked like a lot of gold showing up there. But when you're dealing with this small stuff, it can be deceptive. It lies to you and <laughs> makes you think that you got a lot, and then uh, it uh, it pulls back on the end in the scale, and uh, you know. So you never know till the end when you when you get it together and weigh it up. But right there is not a bad start. A bunch of fine chunky little pieces of gold. It looks like there. So, uh, looks like it, that flowed out very easily. I think the, 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 the most part of this will be washing. Make sure you get, keep getting it clean so it doesn't have the, the little sand particles in it. Which usually you don't see until you get it on the, on the white paper or on your, in your scale and see the little specks showing up. At least for me. But we're going to pick this stuff up here and yeah there we go Get that one little speck left all right well that went that went rather smoothly i don't think i had anything washed down below or away from me there so we will add a bit more here We'll go ahead and run this one through before we cut cut away since that bigger stuff went so easily and we didn't have much of it for what we got on the our big pieces. So but like I said this is uh this is this is about seeing uh giving people a chance to see some different ideas for Stuff that while well, you still got some time to get your orders in and get your Christmas order in for uh, that that certain special someone that might say you know yeah they they, they love uh, bearing sea gold and uh, I think I think that's the, the name of it. but but yeah the, the 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 promotion is gold is where you find it so hopefully we're gonna find a bunch of it in this pan today. I just uh, I just got an a, uh, email in today from Dave at Gold Bay. 
He's uh, doing a promotion right now. If you get your order in by the 17th of this month, he will guarantee your delivery by Christmas and is adding an extra 5% of gold to every order. No coupons, no, uh, prom no nothing, nothing required, just uh, order it. And uh, he's, uh, like I said, he's adding 5% 5, 5 more gold to each order. So... I went ahead and ordered a, ordered up a bag to uh, get in, and hopefully it'll come. Usually, it st this stuff comes out pretty quick, so um, get it in and get a video on it for uh, for you to see before time to um, uh, you can still get it in time for Christmas. And um, but don't wait don't wait for the video if you uh, if you're interested, get on go on the Gold Bay website. And like I said, he's he's going to Cancun. For Christmas, and uh, I think he said he's leaving on the 22nd or something like that. So he will not be sitting out gold for a little while after that. At least before in the past, he has. And I know he's got actually he's got some people that that are employees now that do this. He doesn't just handle all this stuff on his own like he used to, which uh, kind of says why they're, they're, it's not probably not quite as good of of being over as it used to be because uh when it was him putting in extra gold in his dirt that's one thing when you got people working for you throwing in extra gold's a different thing you know so that's why it seems like most of them now are right at the you know you get your if you're getting a gram you're getting a gram point zero five you know zero two uh not like you used to get the point one zero or uh, you know one five over from uh, his earlier stuff that I used to used to watch when I first started this, but um, but yeah. So if you get your order in by the seventeenth, you will get the extra five percent gold added to your order. So I just got the one gram chunky bag, just because I haven't done any of that in a long time. Just some plain old Gold Bay regular, no crystalline, no. Uh, <laughs> wire, no uh, quartz, just uh, just gold, and we'll see what our five percent looks like on there when we uh, do that one. And uh, but like I said, it's always some beautiful gold and uh, three pound bag. So we'll see what that comes to. It should be arriving in a few days, and still, even after the video, it should still give you time to to get an order in before. It is some small stuff. But I'm not seeing really any flour or super fines in there. That may be waiting at the bottom of this um, less than kitchen strainer size material that we classified out. But yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty nice. I have to say. I think I might have overdone it a little bit with the jet dry. Did anything get a what get bias there? There's some pieces that look like gold, but they're just yellow rocks that move very, way too easily to be gold. <laughs> so, nope, that's it. All right. Well, all right. We're gonna continue through this and uh, see what, see what, see what comes of it, and I will be back shortly. And as you can see, I have my little helper. <laughs> hey, hey, Hurricane watching down looking down on me keeping an eye on the on the gold station he this is one of his favorite places to to hang out and lay at night so he's uh it's kind of his spot now so all right let's get to this well we have reached the end of another pan here and uh, once again a nice amount of gold showing up. 
in every pan. Liking that. Uh, again, this is not probably not a pay dirt I would have gotten if uh, if John wasn't already doing his. John R. Prospecting hadn't done his, and uh, like I said, since he was he was talking about getting the five, and we were kind of discussing. It's like, dude, then that's just so much money for for what you're. You know what you could get compared to that, and uh, especially when he's working on uh, getting his big order that's going to be coming up for Christmas, which is going to be fun to see, and uh, some some a gold spectacular. <laughs> but uh, so I say, well, hell, you know, we'll we'll throw a we'll throw in 150 on it and see. Uh, I thought about getting two, but it's like no. 300 bucks i'm just i'm just not really down with that so but like i said for uh for what we're finding here on this is some pretty stuff you can see there's a little bit a little bit of finer stuff mixed in there with it for sure but uh it the material itself flows out real easy so even if you're uh you know pretty much a beginning panner you could uh definitely work work through this a few times to get what you might miss and it's not hard material to to go through and to to see it it's all very clean you can see there's no uh there's no mud anything the water all the water is still very clear so um that's that's a plus if you're not uh like i said if it's your first time wanting to wanting to do some and you're a fan of the show especially and you're like well man i'd like to have some gold and uh, you know you've got the little even comes a little vial to put it in when you get it out but you would definitely want to have a snuffer bottle to, <laughs> i think to to do this like with most of the stuff a few little specks that are in there so yeah but uh but other than that it's uh you know, like I said, it's not stuff that you're walking, you're you're inclined to wash your gold down with as you're panning it out like that because it just uh, the gold holds and the material flows. So that that's a pretty good combination for an easy an easy panning. And like you see, we're not putting that much in at a time, so it's uh. I said there's a decent amount of gold for sure in each uh in each one of these pans we're recovering i don't know that we're gonna that we're approaching two grams but it uh i've seen it i've seen it from point uh 1.5 grams one point actually a little below 1 1.5 1.4 4.6 to 1.6 to uh, John's bag, lad bag, that big bag he got was the first bag he did was 1.8 grams, which was getting close to getting close to that 100% uh, ROI, but still not wasn't quite there. But uh, it, yeah, it was it made a, an impressive amount of gold though in that fine stuff at the end. So uh, like I said, be interesting to see what. How our luck runs on this. So, all right, we'll be back at the end of this shortly. And here we are back at another bottom of a pan. And once again, I'm seeing the I'm seeing the gold showing. And a nice little amount of it each time. Really nice amounts of gold in this stuff for sure. by any standard. And as I said, there's no, uh, really no, no hematite or, or magnetite in this stuff. A little, little speck getting away down there. And tap it back up where it belongs. So yeah, man, that's, uh, like I said, that's 
that's that's quite a bit of, of, of gold. I mean, yeah, it's fine gold, but still, that's nice amounts of it. So I don't know. Are we uh, are we on the on the path to getting our hundred percent? I have to say, I'm encouraged. <laughs> but like I said, you can't you can't go by what gold shows you. You got to we got to wait wait and weigh it wait for the weight but it sure is fun to sure is fun to speculate on it and see it uh, when you got enough of it to make you wonder that's a uh, that that means it's pretty pretty fun little amount there so be interesting if we don't if we don't get our 100% ROI, it'll be interesting to see what what ROI we do come up with on this. I think the the main thing is just the fact that it's the $150. See, we got some smaller stuff that did kind of walk down there that time. So you definitely want to definitely want to go back through your tailings when you do this. Because there are pieces that uh, very easily could slip on by the way this stuff flows out so easily. It, uh, without a bunch of the heavier stuff to really carry it with it, it's, the gold shouldn't be, you know, migrating out of your, out of your pan or over your, over your ripples. But, um, yeah, we don't take it for granted. You always gotta double check and make sure no gold left behind well here now that's a little that's a little bold my uh <laughs> one of my hurricane rescues is back and he as you can see he's not one that wants to be petted usually he waits and shows up <laughs> he, he oh there's both of them are here yeah well hey guys how y'all doing yeah they uh usually they wait until about you know somewhere between 10 and midnight but i guess they decided uh tonight they're going to, uh, you know, but all their trees have gotten destroyed and, and chopped down and blown down around here. So it's kind of made it hard on the poor little guys. So, yeah, they like them. They like them some cat food. But I guess his, uh, his little buddy there is a little bit shyer <laughs> and decided better, better take cover. But, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, they're not scared. What you doing there, little guy, huh? Uh, all right, well, there you go. A little little nature out here in the in the backyard at the back door <laughs> on this balmy 75 i think we got it to 75 or 70 76 today i got the ac running in the house because it was during the day now i now i got it turned down in the evening time because it's uh it's cooled off it's probably in the upper 60s now but uh but yeah, they must be hungry. And then I got the big, big possum that comes up here. All of them, all of them literally, literally walk up and sit on the uh, sit on the doorstep, right here, and and get into the cat food. I've started feeding Hurricane up on the front porch because he likes to hang out there for some reason now more than back here. Maybe because they, maybe because he's staying away from the, staying away from the critters. <laughs> but uh. I thought I thought that was one of my. I gotta I gotta keep putting out extra food now, or uh, watching for my other because I got four four kitties that are all have been displaced since the hurricane are now pretty much pretty much mine. But um, hurricane's the only one that's really uh, you know domestic and uh, friendly. I can pick him up. I let him come into the house. You know, walk in and check out around the tree my two cats don't have any problem with him because he's fixed so he doesn't put off any of that male that male cat uh you know territorial scent type stuff so Irwin's not a big fan of him but he does, he tolerates him and angel just kind of likes to touch noses and see what he's uh see what he's doing but i can't believe that guy is still he's still over there you you just gonna stay the night? You, are you eating the whole bowl? Are you gonna run if I come over and see you a little bit, huh? 
how close do you let me get to you? There you go. <laughs> oh, he's still, there's his buddies right there behind him too, so. That's funny. Christmas Critters. Not like the South Park. <laughs> if you ever saw the South Park Christmas Critters episode, it's, uh, it's disturbing to a lot of people. I really enjoy it, but <laughs> a number of people would probably find it a bit disturbing, but... I'm betting the big one is the mama here, and probably one of her, one of her, uh, one of her uh, little childrens there. They're out with her. That's her grown children. But so, all right, well, we'll be back and get down to the bottom of this. All right, let's see what this one's going to do for us. Once again. Nice, nice cluster of gold showing up there. I just washed one little piece down. I saw. So this is very light and uh, wants to wants to carry if you don't go real easy on it there. So just getting that those little bits of black sand out of the. the the challenging most challenging part of this stuff I think keeping it clean but yeah it's uh not quite as much as we had in the, the last one but still a nice uh respectable <laughs> that's a respectable pan there I expected this stuff to kind of be more gimmicky when I saw it coming out and then after seeing John do his uh, you know like I said it looked like it was some some pretty stuff and he was getting some good gold so I mean it's a uh, you know it's definitely a legitimate a legitimate pay dirt and it is kind of cool that this comes off of her off of her dredge and uh what they, I don't know if it's actually the stuff that they show them getting in the show, but uh, I think they kind of, I think it's kind of suggested that it is, so, but, at any rate, that's another one down, I'm going to find that one little speck that got away, and I'll be back. Well, it turns out the speck I thought got away, got away because it was not gold, it was just a gold rock, <laughs> that's why it flowed away, but... When I swirled it back down, I did find about four tiny, tiny little micro specks that did carry down there. So some of that super fine gold does does wash around. So you got to watch for that. So we just went ahead and did the. I went ahead and put the rest of what we had in this last pan. So it's a little bit more than we had, but we'll get us a nice. It should be a a nice pile of gold here at the the final pan. So get down to this and uh, if the coons don't come up and take over the table I'll be back in a moment just to throw in I guess uh, the probably the most important thing to keep in mind with this stuff is to keep it stratified to keep that that fine stuff from wanting to wanting to creep out around the edges with this stuff that flows out so easy so of course I will be going back to these tailings as soon as I finish this last pan to make sure that that nothing eluded us in our in our search here but uh i think i think we kept it all down where it was supposed to be through this one so all right that's i just wanted to point that out though that yeah it's when you got this fine stuff that moves real easy you do want to definitely keep that stratification going throughout it all the time and not give that little stuff a chance to settle up on top or wash around the edges so all righty Well, here we are at our our f finale of the Bering Sea Pay Dirt from Emily Rydell. Let's see what we look like here. Like I said, it should be for what we got in our other pans and for the amount in this that we finished off with ought to be 
a pretty nice display at the end here and it looks like we're getting that again though man i just yeah kind of inclined to think man we've got a lot of gold there we ought to be close to that 100 percent roi just from the amount that we're seeing coming out but how much does that weigh That is the question that we will soon be answering. But yeah, I mean that's uh, actually I think we got we've gotten more of our earlier pans at a time, even than this than this finale on this. But still, that's a nice <laughs> a nice amount of gold in every pan for sure, and some pretty some pretty shiny stuff. So let's go ahead and bring that out. I'm going to double check and make sure that no more of that little fine stuff like the last one shows up. And we'll be right back. Well, all right. There was nothing left in the bottom of that one. So let's see what our snuffer is going to show us here. We'll get a little rinse because there is some fine stuff to be seen. Man, I have to say, since the since the sun went down now and it's been now about 30 minutes since then or so, uh, the temperature has definitely dropped out here. I'd say we're probably in the upper 50s now. My, uh, I'm getting my my fingers are getting a little bit numb from. Uh, <laughs> From, from from chill out here in the uh, messing with the water and this stuff so yeah we've got a nice amount of gold in there but I would say that is not our that is not our two gram two and a half gram uh, hundred hundred percent ROI uh, gold but again it is some very you can see how it shines in that light man it is some pretty gold for sure And like I said, especially if you're a fan of the show or, uh, you know, you just want to have a, have, have something that's kind of, kind of a novelty to have. That's, uh, you know, with the, the, the background on it, it's, uh, something that's not too, not too hard to deal with at all. This is some, uh, this is some pretty good stuff. So, all right, we'll get this dried up, and we'll see how close we got on this. I bet we're probably looking at that 1. 1.5 to 1.6 grams on this one. But we'll dry it up and check it. I'm going to go through these tailings, and we'll be in the house. So, yes, this is my Iron Maiden, the Beast Teams Texas Tour shirt. From 1982 so yeah 39 years old well in retrospect maybe this wasn't the best t-shirt to wear for <laughs> for concert shirts for my Christmas video but hey it's green yes but anyway all right well we are in with our pan full of fine dried bearing sea gold and you can see there is a a, a nice little pile of it there and it is some pretty, pretty stuff. It's got a little chunkiness to it. Some smooth pieces. I need to look at it where I'm not jiggling it around. So let's get our paper out here. Get that, move that out of the way. It's an unsightly paper towel. There is some, there is a bit of uh, fine dust in there with that stuff for sure. Yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of sand in that as well. I can see it better in the, in the camera than I can looking at my, looking at it straight on. All right. 
but like I said, I'm guessing that it's probably not going to be our our desired weight, but it, hopefully it'll be good. Uh, I never do any pre looks at this stuff. We always uh, see the weights together. So y'all find out when I do what all this stuff weighs out at. And you know, I have, most of the time I'm wrong whenever I'm guessing for what a, a nugget weighs or a chunk. Well, there we're at a gram. No, not quite. I can already tell we're gonna be not gonna be making that, but we'll see. Well, there's a, we're at one point one six. That's that's good. We've still got stuff coming out of here. We're gonna to try to keep from tapping out all the the black sand in it that we can keep. Well, there you have it. That's uh, this stuff here. I think. Let me zoom in and see if this looks like black sand or any gold in there with it. Mm, there's a little speck there on the side. We're gonna. Tap that over and get that out of the way here. Get some of that off. Don't want to lose. I mean, it's nothing, but still. All right. 1.70 grams. Now, before I touch it, start jacking with it. And it, it's one of the rare times when it still says 1.70 grams. So, there we have a nice... Nice amount of gold. It's one of the, uh, we're a little short from what John had gotten the other night, but we're a little better than some other ones that I've seen that were the one, the below 5.50 or the 0 0.60. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. It would have been nice to have gotten that 100, 100%, but, you know, sure, it's always, it always would be, but you're, you gotta be happy whenever you, you get a good batch of pretty gold. And you can see right there that that is some, some pretty gold, but I'm going to have to resituate this because it's just too close to the edge of the counter. And we're not going to, <laughs> we're not going to risk. Yeah, the, you know, we're not even going to say it. i got to reposition the tripod here. So, 1.7, well now it's like it wanting to change up since I moved it around. So we're going to, our official weight was one. Yeah, it's still going back. Well, that's, that's damn good. It's holding, it's solid, a solid 1.70. So let's run some numbers on this, and I will be right back. Well, all right, we are back with our close-up shot of our of our gold here. You can see, like this piece here that's black, and it looks like it would be something you'd want to kick out, but actually, it's got gold on the other side of it, so it's a it's a piece with a little bit of ore attached. And there you can see there's a little little piece of wire gold there that showed up. There was a couple of those little pieces of wire gold in this stuff. Those are our, there's our bigger pieces that we got in the first, the first pan. But, uh, but yeah, you can see it's a uh, really pretty, pretty gold. It's got a, a lot of facets and uh, little, little dent, dent, dimples in it and it's uh it's, it's really pretty stuff so you know it's uh very fine but it's not the it's not like the flat river gold that you see oftentimes in this fine stuff it is very very shiny has a little bit of almost a little bit of sparkle to it there is it moves around so all right well like i said we've got 1.70 grams of this on the day i bought it it was going for 1773 dollars an ounce we uh um ah one yeah i didn't i didn't do my uh i didn't figure out my gram cost on this at any rate, our uh, gold value at 1.70 grams came out to $96.91. And uh, that gives us at $141 for the material, a 69% a ROI. And if you count the full $150 price on this, it's 65% ROI. 
So, you know, not the, not the most terrible ROIs that you could get for that, but it's still, that's a pretty big premium to pay on a 1.7 grams of gold just to have your gold. So, I'm like I said, it's the novelty of the, kind of the whole thing together. So, um, and something I meant to throw in, I've been meaning to mention this throughout the last few videos, but uh, a good way to, to have money to buy some of this gold is... If y'all haven't not familiar with Pure Talk, the mobile service, I was with AT and T since nineteen uh, since uh, two thousand six, and I was up to seventy dollars a month for just my regular line, one line and uh, minimal uh, data. Twenty dollars a month is what this costs. Uh, Pure Talk and two gigs of uh, mobile data, which I do not use. If you if you use more, if you like like six gigs for thirty dollars a month, but I do the twenty dollars a month. It comes out of your account automatically. You text pound two fifty to Pure Talk, and just uh, type in save, and it'll send you a one time thing back. But I'm saving literally. I'm saving you know fifty dollars a month off my phone bill right off the you know immediately. And uh, it's been great, and I had the service now since March, and it's the best thing I've done in a long time is getting rid of AT&T, and it runs off of the same terminals, the same towers, everything. So, like I said, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't, I don't have any connection to any of the things that you ever see on here. I'm just telling you this as, as if you want to have an extra $50 a month or 60 or a lot of people even even higher than I am, but... I was paying seventy dollars a month, like I said, for basic phone service from AT and T, uh, and I could not be happier with what I've gotten from Pure Talk. So, just wanted to throw that in. You know, it's 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 a free fifty dollars. <laughs> that's for the way I. That's what it, the way it showed up for me. So, all right. Well, we were going to use our John R. Prospecting funnel, <laughs> and uh, thank you, John, that he had sent me in the mail call, and we're going to. Put our gold in our bearing C vial. And it's a big vial for not a lot of not a lot of gold to fill it up. <laughs> but it's pretty in there. So yeah, we've got our we've got our we've got our gold in our vial. And uh, that will do it for our bearing C pay dirt. Uh, again, if you know, if you're a fan of the show, then uh, you'd, you'd probably really enjoy doing this. And uh, like I said, if uh, if you're more into the hobbyist part of this and not worried so much about the ROIs, again, you're you know you you you're going to enjoy doing it. Uh, it's just not, you know, definitely not what I look for in a pay dirt to buy regularly or repeat. So that being said, you know, this was fun and. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was what it was. So I uh, I'm happy with the gold, and like I said, it's not a terrible not a terrible ROI at 69 percent for the gold value. So you know, it's good. So with that being said, we will conclude this gold gift episode of Buy You Gold Guy, <laughs> and uh, you can see we've got the we've got the tree going in there. I've got I'm. We're, we even have a shortage of lights now. You can't you can't get lights for the the Christmas tree. I use the sixteen uh, function cycling lights that have the different runs all the different patterns. And I've had two two rows of them that have gone out, so I'm three hundred lights short on my tree that I'd normally use for a, a tree that size. And it's funny a, a ten foot ceiling makes an eight foot tree not look that big, but that's what that is eight foot blue spruce, and it needs a few more lights on it, but they're they're not in town. No WalMarts, none at the stores, the drug stores that are open uh, that you normally sell lights. So, you gotta make do with what I have. So, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this holiday gold gift episode by you gold guy. I am by you gold guy. I want to say thank you all for subscribing and viewing the channel and uh, liking and commenting. And I uh, hope you enjoying our. Uh, Christmas gift series, and um, you know, if you see something that 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 you that you like, then great. I'm I'm glad to have uh, given you a, a hint to, to something you might be wanting to pick up. 
And if not, I hope you enjoyed just seeing some gold show up. And, uh, you know, I sure have. And like I said before, it's kind of cool because, you know, I say these are all gifts that I would like to get, you know, if somebody was buying me pay dirt, but I'm kind of getting them through Christmas because I'm doing this for you guys. So thank you for giving me an excuse for uh, doing this. And uh, I haven't gotten Christmas gifts like this in, ever in my life. <laughs> and uh, it's a... So it's kind of it's kind of a self-serving thing, I guess, in a way. But hey, we, we we get our gold throughout the year anyway, so why not make it festive for Christmas? So you know, I'll I'll, I'll rationalize it however I need to. But thank you so much <laughs> for joining me and for uh, going on this journey of gold. And until the next times, Merry Christmas season to everyone, and peace out, my friends. And thank you to John R. Prospecting again for. Uh, uh, turning me on to this. He's the one that told me about getting, doing his and uh, suggested I get some. So um, I'm, you know, glad I did and I hope you enjoyed it.